So let's clean up the battery. Uh, I mean the fan. <clears throat> Remove your battery. So all you need is a double zero flip screwdriver. I've got my electrical screwdriver, so I'm gonna use that. First of all, remove the battery and then um, remove this compartment. So that's out of the way. <clears throat> Just keep your screws organized because there's too many sizes and the last things you want to do is mix them all up and it's really a pain in the ass you know because sometimes what happens is you put the small screws in the uh, short, long screws in the short holes and that kind of pops out from the other side and that's kind of ugly so remove your uh, wi-fi card pull it out out of the way so we pretty much take the major stuff out that would let us uh, remove the motherboard which is where the fan is anyway, start off from one side pretty much new screws you see just move it <clears throat> yeah, this process is a bit boring, so if you want to skip the next stage, just go skip the videos a little bit because this process is pretty much simple and I'm too lazy to edit it out, so I'm gonna leave the raw video uploaded to YouTube so you can make your own decision. Okay. The screws that you can't take out, don't worry. Once you're done with all unscrewing, then you can flip it up and all the screws will come right off. So that's out of the way. Okay, so if you just there you go, one of them came out. Now here be careful because sometimes when you jerk it and open the lid me more going to damage the hinges so as soon as you get a little bit of leverage just put your fingers like that and then open it now here it's something sharp all you need is a bit of uh, edge so you can pull it out so this seems to be screws right here. Yep, bastard. <clears throat> yeah, so slowly pry it open. These are these latches, and on top of these screws, there's also latches that holds it in place. So once you pull it out, careful, latches, not that really matters, because you really have to squeeze. That's out of the way. It looks like this has been opened before, but basically you have like a bunch more screws to open. And once you've done that, remove the cable for power, track the cables out of the way. Now, these things, I don't know if I can show it in the camera, but basically what do you do here? Just yeah. Don't worry about that. As I said, this has been open before, so there's a bunch of missing screws. Fucking up. Sorry. Where is this screw? Yeah. Okay, 
so that's out. Okay. Okay, so here's the fan. But in order to get to that, this sorry, the video cut off. So yeah, what I was saying was um, the fan is here, but in order to get access to that, you have to open the entire motherboard. You have to lift it up, and there's screws that we need to unscrew that in order to get access to the fans. So remove all the cables. Any cables you see that holds it in, holds the, the motherboard in place, just untighten that. When it comes to these cables, be very careful because once you pinch it, once you snap it, then uh, yeah, you're going to need a lot of tissues to wipe those cries. I mean, nothing is unrepairable, everything can be fixed, but it's pain in the ass. There's so be a bunch of more screws missing from this one. So, yeah, anyway. so this one. Can be a bit of a pain, it's a bit tricky. Basically, just wiggle it from either side bit by bit and be patient. Don't just don't don't pull out from this cable because you're going to damage it so try to use this technique yeah, this it can be pain in the neck so that's out of the way <clears throat> okay so flip it up yeah so thing is done yeah Put it away and now. Here we are. So first as I said with all these um connectors never try to uh grab it from, from the cables and just trying to pull it out because that one that that's going to damage. Also, if you want to replace and upgrade the mother, uh, the CPU on this one, it can easily be done because the CPU is snap on; it's not inbuilt into this to the motherboard. This is what I like about all laptops because everything is repairable and can easily be done. Okay, first thing we do: clean any residue from the terminal place. As you can see, it's been dried out and that's probably one of the reason. It's very, very dry. That's one of the reasons um, they are uh, heating up. The other reason could be the fan. We haven't checked it yet, but if the fan is dirty, so that one also gonna cause heating issues as well. If you, you get something sharpie and scrap it, because the thing is you don't want to have any old um, thermal paste left behind, because that way you don't get good yeah heat transfer from the CPUs into the into. What do you call it? Uh, through the heatsink in and, and out of the systems. Okay. It's 
nasty. He just wore a mask when he cleaned this <clears throat> this nastiness. Yeah, like if you're like me with dust mite allergy, it's just going to yeah make it do worse. Get a brush. Okay, so yeah, homemade DIY brush. I mean, if you've got a replacement fan, it's definitely ideal. But yeah, it's not worth it to get new from for this one. It's pretty old. The reason <clears throat> these dust goes um, <clears throat> heating is because the, the, the ventilation here get clogged and the heat doesn't, you know, get exerted from here. So that sort of, you know, get locked in the laptops and cause all kind of issues. So that's done. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this test off of that, so don't worry about that. <clears throat> so yeah, the rest of the system is, uh, I mean, this of the process is pretty much the same. <laughs> and only, um, yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> right, we just need to do the last steps and we're done. Okay, so we need to. Um, you need a good thermal paste. Um, I got it for me about five packs. You can, yeah, it's about 20 mil, so they're pretty cheap. And I can use it as on. Um, more than 50 laptops you don't need to get this big you just need like one metal so I'm only 20 about two bucks um, yeah and you already have your you have like general purpose double Phillips screwdriver a double zero Phillips screwdriver so yeah it will probably gonna cost you a dollar two to do yeah this DIY thing so 